we are all aware of the formula speed multiplied by time is equal to distance. This gives us the distance. If we want to find the speed, we transpose time to the other side. And if we want to find the time, we transpose speed to the other side. A good way to remember this is by remembering this triangle with a T. We have speed and time at the bottom and distance on top. If we want to find the time, it will be d over s. If speed, it will be d over t. If we want the distance, it will be s times t. Really simple, isn't it? How are these parameters given to us? Speed is given as a rate, something like 10 km per hour. Say we travel at this rate for 2 hours. What will be the distance that is covered? It will be 10 times 2 or 20 kilometers. Observe that the units are also working out perfectly. Kilometers over hours multiplied by hours. Hours get cancelled and what remains is kilometers. With this formula, if we are given any two parameters, we can easily find the third. Units of time and distance are straightforward. But units of speed can get interesting. It can be provided to us as kilometers per hour or sometimes even meters per second. And it is important to keep in mind that the units of all three parameters must be in sync. It would be incorrect to say 10 meters per second multiplied by 2 hours is 20. But 10 meters per second times 2 seconds will equal 20 meters. That's because seconds get cancelled. So sometimes we may need to convert the speed from kilometers per hour to meters per second or vice versa. Let's say we have been given the speed in kilometers per hour. How would you convert it to meters per second? Pause the video and think about it. How would you convert kilometers per hour to meters per second? If we multiply the value in kilometers per hour with 5 over 18, we will get the answer in meters per second. Yes, that's how easy it is. Let's see why. We know that 1 kilometer is 1000 meters. And how many seconds is 1 hour equal to? 1 hour is 60 minutes and 1 minute is 60 seconds. 60 times 60 will be 3600 seconds. Now we simply reduce this fraction to its simplest form. We cancel the two zeros. 2 times 5 is 10 and 2 times 18 is 36. So this is equivalent to 5 over 18 meters per second. Yes, 1 kilometer per hour is the same as 5 over 18 meters per second. In time, speed and distance problems, we need to keep the units in mind. So based on what we learnt, why don't you try converting 54 kilometers per hour to meters per second? As 1 kilometer per hour is the same as 5 over 18 meters per second, we multiply this with 5 over 18 to get the answer in meters per second. 18 times 3 is 54 and 3 times 5 is 15. 54 kilometers per hour is equal to 15 meters per second. And it goes without saying that to convert from meters per second to kilometers per hour, we have to multiply by 18 over 5. This topic is best understood with examples. We will cover more than 20 different types of examples in the coming sessions.